Do you also get overwhelmed with GRE vocabulary? Do you also get confounded when you hear words like ambidextrous, colossal or egalitarian? Well, everyone who starts with GRE prep does feel onerous about it. But it is not that big a conundrum. Well, that was a good short video tutorial for GRE vocab. Let's start with a video. Hello everyone, this is JJ here and let's discuss how we can ace the GRE vocab. First of all, I want you to look at these words as a matter of enriching your language and not just mugging up. That never works. So 50% of your GRE verbal section consists of text completion and sentence equivalence questions which require GRE vocabulary plus the meaning in context questions from reading comprehension also requires the knowledge of different types of words. So let's accept the fact that GRE vocab is very very important and we can't run away from it. So let's discuss a step-by-step -step approach. Now there are some 3,000 to 4,000 GRE words and what most of the people do is that, okay, I will learn all those 3,000 to 4,000 words in one month and then I will start solving questions. This is the most inefficient and the most ridiculous strategy I've ever come across. Please don't do it. You cannot remember the words just by mugging up for more than a week. Just don't do it as you do not have any questions to evaluate yourself. You do not have any questions which actually suggest whether you are getting it right or getting it wrong. So the first suggestion is never learn all the words in one go. So to give yourself a head start, start with Barron's 333 high frequency words. Yes, you need to only learn 333 words and you are good to solve the questions. Solve the questions from any book you get, Manhattan, Kaplan, Princeton, official guide, solve as many questions as possible because that is what will help you in improving your score in GRE verbal section. So what exactly to do while preparing and you're solving your question, that we will see, let's take up a question. So this is a sentence equivalence question on your screen. You have been given a sentence with a dash in it. There are six options and you have to select two options which correctly fills in the dash. So what I suggest to you is pause the video, solve the question and then join again. I hope you have solved the question. So let's read out the line. Newspapers report that the former executive has been trying to keep a low profile since his dash exit from the company. So let's understand the question first. So the important words here are executive is trying to keep a low profile. By low profile, we mean that he is not announcing it, more or less he is keeping it a private matter. So understand the question before you look at the options. So from this question, we get understanding that something bad has happened and the executive is leaving the company. So let's look at the option one by one. Option A is celebrated. Well, it goes, actually it is the opposite. We want a word which is opposite to celebrated. Option B is mysterious. Mysterious is keeping secrecy, don't know what exactly is happening. So it might be a probable option. Let's look at option C, long awaited. So option A and option C are more or less same. If it is long awaited, it cannot be low profile. So you can eliminate option C. D is fortuitous. Now there is a high chance that you do not know what fortuitous is. So in your notebook, make a note of fortuitous, go Google it, find it in a dictionary and make a note of every word from every question you solve that you don't know. So when I was preparing for my GRE, I had around 1000 to 1500 words handwritten. When you write it by your hand, by searching it from the dictionary or from the Google, then that word you remember for a long time and you have to go through the handwritten notebook over and over again so that you remember those words. So right now the meaning of fortuitous is by chance, by happening by accident. Uh, the question doesn't suggest that anything has happened by accident over here. Option E is indecorous. It is an opposite of decorous. Decorous means appropriate. Indecorous means not appropriate. So probably something bad has happened. The executive has been um, made charges of allegation have been made against the executive so maybe indecorous could fit in over here so indecorous would definitely fit in over here option f is unseemly well unseemly and indecorous are synonyms to each other the meaning is same so the answer to this question is indecorous and unseemly so option b rules out because we have a better option from the six so the answer is e and f so here you know that by solving a question, you improve your understanding of the question, plus you learn six 
words from every single question so that is why i tell you solve as many questions as possible that will help you in text completion and sentence equivalence so this is something you should do in the last 10 days of a GRE. So I assume in this period of time, you have already solved a lot of questions. You have already gone through the notes which you have created. So in the last 10 days to give a final push to your GRE vocab preparation, there is one resource which I highly, highly recommend, but it is not very well known and most of the people do not use it. So that resource is tyrannosaurusprep.com. In tyrannosaurusprep.com, there are five levels and you are asked the vocabulary in a, in a format of the quiz which is very engaging and you will see virtually all the words you will see in your GRE from tyrannosaurusprep.com. So I highly recommend you go to tyrannosaurusprep.com, complete all the words which are given on that website and finally you will be done with your GRE vocab and you will be ready to rock your GRE verbal section. So finally I would say that if you are starting now 45 to 60 days are enough to get your GRE vocab right, to get your GRE verbal right. Till then, if you have any doubts, write it down in the comment section. I will get back to you. Like, share, subscribe and best of luck.